First things first, I want to clarify that I like the Switch edition. I had a lot of fun playing this game and I think it's worth it. With that being said, if you're looking to get Prison Architect on your Nintendo Switch, here are some things to consider before buying it. If you watch my older video about this game, I mentioned about the controls being harder because of using a controller but I never really explain why. In my opinion, it's hard to use an analog stick to point and click or drag. It's much easier using a keyboard to move the camera and a mouse to construct things in the game. But it's a personal preference and it really depends on the person. Another thing you need to consider is navigating through the menus can be hard and confusing. It is split up into 4 menus and can be accessed using directional buttons of the controller. Each menu has its sub-menu that can really be hard to navigate. For example here, if I want to construct a fence, I need to navigate to construction, then select walls and doors, then scroll until I find the fence. I think you already get my point why it's hard to navigate, but it's tolerable and the game can still be fun in my opinion. You just need a little patience I guess. Also, since it's hard to navigate, it's also hard to micromanage things in the Switch version. Sometimes you need to search every nook and cranny of the menus to find something you're looking for, but I guess you're gonna get used to it in the long run. You might also think that since it's on the Switch, that it might utilize the touch screen of the Switch. Sad to say but there are no touch controls at all. It only supports a controller and also I saw a reddit thread about this topic and a developer of the Switch edition replied this. So if you're expecting the Switch edition to have touch controls like the mobile version then tough luck. But if not, then good for you. I also need to mention, when I'm playing the game on a TV, it can be hard to read the text. And there is no way to increase the text size. As uh, someone who is wearing glasses, I need to squint sometimes when I'm trying to read. If you're wondering if the game has performance issues, I didn't really experience any yet. Well, the game crashed maybe twice before but it was on an old save file. And I didn't really know what was the cause of the crash. Besides, it didn't happen again on my future save files. On my current save file, I thought there was a bug when I was doing a grunt involving a dog handler on a patrol route. After a quick google search, it turns out I need to build a kennel first before dog patrols can work. And also, when setting up a shop, I cannot seem to place a shop front. Again, after a google search, I learned that you need to place it inside the walls. So I didn't experience any major bugs yet whatsoever. I don't know, maybe the game will lag if you have hundreds of prisoners but I haven't reached that many prisoners yet. So yeah, these are just some of the things I can think of that you need to consider before buying the Switch Edition. I really think the Switch Edition is a good port, it's cool to have the option to play on the go and play on a TV. So thank you guys for watching, if I forgot something that you need to consider, please comment it down below. And if this video helps, please like this video. Again, thanks for watching and see you all next time.